Thanks for joining this week on Plant Maya Flowers. Today we're actually going to be propagating something new. It's going to be the prickly pear cactus, also known as the Opatia ficus indica. The prickly pear cactus is a perennial that's native to Mexico. It does endure the typical cactus environment, so it would have high direct light, high temperature, and low watering. This cactus also does produce fruit that's edible to people, but with the propagation that I'm about to show you, I'm going to use a cutting. The first thing that we'll need for the propagation is a good set of gloves. I needed some that would be able to endure the spines of the cactus. This is the cutting that I took from a plant that was about four feet high. It was a pretty large plant that had fruit on it, so I went ahead and propagated from the top piece and cut it at the base. I did read that you should let the cutting sit and callus for about a week before you go about planting it, so that's what I did. The next thing that you'll need is a pot. With it, it's essential it has holes in the bottom. This allows for the proper drainage of the plant. Next, you see the Espoma organic cactus mix that I got from my local store. It allows for me to plant in something that's made for cactuses so I don't have to worry about the fertilization. This is actually a trash bag that I use to do all of my potting over just to create a clean environment where I'm not spilling any dirt all over my carpet. I go about filling the container itself three quarters of the way with the potting soil. That way I can create a snug fit for my cutting then fill in with soil the rest of the way. Now I'll demonstrate how I take one finger, poke it into the soil, then take the calloused end of the prickly pear cutting and place it in that same hole to create a snug fit. Now you see me filling it to the brim with that soil. That way it ensures a stable environment for the cactus to grow and again, try to root. Lastly, I water the plant just to ensure that it is stable and is getting encouragement to sprout some new roots and grow a new plant. Thanks again for joining me this week on Plant Maya Flowers. I'll see you again next Thursday.